Hello, and welcome to a new edition of the Silver Bulletin. I'm Aliyah Jackson. And I'm Ryan Velasquez. Let's get into the highlights from last week's spring game. Buckback football was back in the shoe for the first time in 2018 as Ohio State showcased their spring progress, in which the Gray beat the Scarlet team 37-14. The spring game gave fans a first look at the quarterback battle between Dwayne Haskins, Joey Burrow, and Tate Martell. All three had the chance to see the field and combined for 386 yards and four passing touchdowns. Head coach Urban Meyer mentioned that a decision at quarterback had not yet been made. I know I'm going to get a bunch of court, uh, questions about the quarterback. I'll go and answer uh, one of them right now, and that is that um, we're going to have to make some decisions. Uh, those decisions have not been made. Ohio State will be turning six of their top wide receivers, including last year's captains, Paris Campbell and Terry McLaurin. Running back Demario Call, who was silent last season with an ab abdominal injury, caught 11 passes for 165 yards and two touchdowns during the spring game. Myra also said junior Brady Taylor leads spring practice as the starting center, replacing All-American Billy Price. The same goes for redshirt freshman Luke Farrell at tight end, who will fill Marcus Ball's shoes. I also had over two dozen former players in the house for Saturday's game, including honorary coaches, two-time Super Bowl winning Malcolm Jenkins and Ryan Shazier, whose season with the Pittsburgh Steelers ended with a devastating spinal injury in December. He received a standing ovation during halftime when he was introduced at midfield. Now here's Ryan with the top five plays of the game. At number five, we have Tate Martell's 30-yard run toward the end of the third quarter, bringing the ball all the way down to the gray seven. The number four spot goes to Mike Weber's 63-yard rush that set up the go-ahead touchdown for the gray squad in the second quarter. Checking in at number three is Dwayne Haskins' 25-yard touchdown pass to Jalen Harris that gave the Scarlet team the 14-10 lead toward the end of the second quarter. At number two is Joe Burrow's bomb to end the game and give the great team one last touchdown for the day. Demario McCall goes 42 yards and for the score. And the number one spot, Joe Burrow and Demario McCall make their second appearance in the top five is Burrow's 50-yard pass to McCall at the start of the fourth quarter to give the Scarlet a 31 to 14 lead. That's all we have for you this week on the Silver Bulletin. Be sure to subscribe to Lantern TV on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Also, for game day coverage, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and add us on Snapchat. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.